What is up dudes? Fracture here. Now, this is pretty old news, and by now, it's probably like everybody has seen this stuff, but what I wanted to do is talk about future heroes. Now, I made in my last video about why Overwatch needs more heroes, and I stand by that. It really does. And if you haven't seen the animated Overwatch, uh, short, I guess? Yeah, I think that's what they're called. Recall? And actually, all of them. Go watch them. They're great. They're like Pixar-level stuff. But anyway, let's get right into the video. So up first, we have this concept art photo. Now, I'm not really sure where it came from, and I tried to figure it out, but I couldn't. But as you can see, if you span this whole thing, you can see a bunch of different heroes that we're probably never going to see, but there's a good chance we might. Like the people right out in the front, the guy with a little mohawk off to the left, and the, the big red guy in the back, which everybody is thinking that his name is Soundquake. But I'll explain that in a different video. But the one I'm trying to focus on right now is on the far right. Now, he looks like he has some of these high-tech goggles. Uh, what was that game called by Tom Clint? Like Splinter Cell? You know those kind of goggles? Yeah. He, he kind of looks like he might have something like that. And also, I found this other concept art, art, bleh, art, <laughs> art photo. And um, I have it as like my wallpaper a lot or lock screen, I think that's what it's called, on Windows 10, don't kill me for that, but it has him right next to Genji, and I think it's Farah, and they have, there's the same dude with the same goggles. Now, I'm thinking that this might be the guy I'm trying to make a video on, but as I said earlier, if you have not seen the animated short Recall, go watch that. At the end, there is a part where Winston, he calls in all the other Overwatch heroes that have been in, uh, what do you call it, like Solidary or something like that? So... When he calls him back in, there's a bunch of hero faces that flash on the screen. And someone on Reddit, and I'll put it in the description, um, they have, this guy froze them frame for frame. Now, all these heroes, some of them look pretty bland to me, and some actually look pretty freaking awesome. And I, there's one of them with those goggles that I was talking about. But I kind of compared it to the concept arts, and I noticed that this this guy might be in a younger version in the concept arts but this is what he looks like now like he he, he like upgraded his equipment or something but i also took a, a second look at that roster picture of the ones that have all the extra heroes and if you look right between mccree and tracer's head i'm gonna zoom in here um you can see this guy with the same hairstyle and i can't really tell if he has the same goggles or not <laughs> But Frax, eh? I think I thought he would be the only one here. What the fuck, man? What? You fucking suck. Fucking dislike. 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 Whoa, calm the fuck down. Damn. <laughs> okay, let me explain. Now, they look, you know, close enough alike that I can pretty much call them the same person. But I think they both look really high tech anyway that they could fit into the same role in my mind. So let's get right into the big meat of the video. All right, first up for the role for this mainframe person. Now, I think that we really need more support heroes, even though there's, I think, five right now, and that's including Anna. So the thing that I don't think we have enough of is the utility support. I think right now the only one is Symmetra, and people think that she, did, she shouldn't even be a support in the first place, but she's helpful on defense. And I guess that no one really wants to play support because everybody thinks DPSing is the best. And since I'm a mostly support player, and I actually like doing it, it's a very important role. You need to have that. But I guess everybody only thinks support should be heals. But sometimes you need that extra push. You need that utility. So what I thought about doing is making this guy a locator type of support. So it's base, his, base, eh, his basic attack <laughs> will be a DMR sty style weapon. Like a single shot, semi-automatic. And he wouldn't be able to headshot, but he'd still be able to land off a couple pot shots or something. Now, for his first ability, what I was thinking about was, and that's that's E, by the way, was that he'd press a button and, like, Hanzo's arrow, it would transform maybe the bullet inside. Or he'd, like, put the bullet in the chamber or in the magazine or something like that. And he'd shoot one person on the enemy team, and that tags that person only. So it's like a tracker round, if that makes any sense. You'll be able to see him through walls and stuff like that, like Hanzo's arrow. Um, his second ability, would be, which would be a shift, would be a security camera. 
Now, the security camera is would be like a Symmetra turret or a Torbjorn turret. You'd put it down, and much like a Symmetra turret, you'd be able to put it up anywhere. On a wall, on a ceiling, just standing up in the middle of the floor, something like that. You can put them down uh, flank routes, so you don't have to have someone watching them constantly. Now, when someone... Wa uh, think of it like the camera span will be like a fan. Now, it's smaller at the point where the camera is, and it kind of extends outwards. And I'm not sure if... It would be better to have a little screen in the bottom corner or the top corner or something like that of the player's screen that shows the camera feed. Or if it would be better to actually highlight them in red like it would be for Widow's alt, like that. But once they get out of range of that camera, it'd be gone. So it would be good for like watching the flank routes if you're defending positions and other stuff. And you'd only be able to have one security camera. And the last power for him that I would think would be pretty good would be his ult would be the ability jammer. Now, it would send out a circular explosion from him. Not really an explosion, more like, you know how an EMP is. I'm not sure if you would call that an explosion. But something like that that would just wreck everybody's abilities and would make, make them not work for about five seconds. So in case they're making a push, they can't use their ults. Stuff like that. So I thought that would be a pretty good power set for uh, a support utility type hero. Now, I I really made this stuff a long time ago, and I've been planning to make this video. And ever since everybody's trying to speculate that Sombra might be the next hero and will be a stealth hero. And in the comics and stuff like that, they've kind of referred to who has her as a uh, intel gathering person. So... I'm not trying to steal any other people's videos, and I, I don't really have any proof to, to show that I made these powers up, but I've had this around for a very long time, and I've never got around to making it, and I know in Unit Lost, or I think that's what who it is, but they were speculating on powers, they did say some of the stuff, like the Ability Jammer, so I'm not stealing anybody's ideas or videos, this is just my thoughts and how it would be helpful to the Overwatch game in a hole. So that's the end of the video guys. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you want to see more Overwatch content or actually more uh, hero speculation videos, leave a or not leave a like. I mean yeah, sure, leave a like. But subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, fracture out.